What's up, this is Naked Eli bringing you a quick analysis video of the Halo 4 console. First, I want to put the new high definition sounds to the Comic Con panel where Kiki showed us the Halo 4 console. So here's what it sounds like in really good quality if you are opening up the disc tray or ejecting. And this is what it sounds like when you turn on the console. So that sounds much better than when she tried to play it through the microphone. At first I didn't like these sounds, but I've grown to really enjoy them. I heard that they will also be related to content inside of the campaign and the game itself, so I think that will make it more relatable once we actually get our hands on the game. So some quick facts about the console, it has a sleek Forerunner design, a see-through exterior to differentiate it from previous Halo consoles, glowing blue LED lights, two wireless sweet looking Halo 4 controllers, a standard copy of Halo 4 which is unfortunate because I really want to get the limited edition and we might have to buy that separately, a wired Microsoft headset which is terrible quality, you should get a better headset anyways like a Turtle Beach X11 or something, 320 gigabyte hard drive, built in Wi-Fi just like every other new console out there, and a Halo 4 in-game downloadable content token which will get you a uh, Fotis Spartan armor, light rifle skin, and a unique unicorn emblem like WTF, and there was also some avatar stuff which I don't really care about. All in all, you get it for the price of $400, which is actually less expensive than I thought it would be because you get the console, controllers, headset, so much hard drive space, built-in Wi-Fi, in-game content, so much stuff to go along with this. So are you going to buy it? Can you see yourself playing on this console, hearing those sounds every single day? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. This is Naked Eli, thumbs up for the video, and thank you so much for watching.